messy around. <clears throat> what a night. Nasty business. The silver slug deformed and shredded on impact. He'll be okay, though. Hmm? He'll be okay? His internal organs are positively riddled. If I don't extract every single scrap of silver, he's liable to suffer some long-term toxicosis. Easy there. Try not to move. Oh, Christ. Oh, boy. I figured I'd be done before you were conscious. But there's little I can do for the pain. Just stay still and let me finish. Swinehart, how bad is it? Well, not the worst I've seen, but damn near it. I must say, you're testing even my skills here. Please, Bigby, don't move it. Doctor. Look, I'm a bit engaged saving his life at the moment. But if the fractured extremity concerns him that much, he can set it himself. Oh, Lord, no. Ha <laughs> ha no. No. Oh, fuck no. Oh, fuck no. Oh, fuck no. Oh, you poor fucking bastard. I've never had a broken arm, but it seems like the most painful thing in the fucking world. Oh my god. Christ. Not bad. That'll do, I suppose. D yeah, sure. He's lucky to be alive. And he won't be next time if he keeps going like this. He didn't listen to me before. Maybe he'll listen to you. I don't know about that. Well, he should. There are limits to what even I can do. This <sighs> is the job. Quiet. Just relax. <laughs> Excuse me, Miss White, but perhaps it'd be better if you gave me a few minutes to finish with him. I, I think I should stay, at least until he's out of the woods. Believe me, Bigby couldn't be in better hands, and I need the space to work, so if you wouldn't mind, we'd appreciate the headroom. Don't worry, Snow. I'll be okay. We'll be done in a moment. Just please, give us the time. Hey, Doc, how much longer? Colin, leave him be. It's finished when it's finished. Because I once watched a vet sew a turtle together in ten minutes flat. Colin, you're not even supposed to be here right now. Oh, really? Where am I supposed to be? I'm here to take care of my friend. W with what? Your hooves? Hey, listen, please, lady. Please, keep it down back there. Thank you. Could you please not distract the doctor while he has my chest cut open? Yes, that would be helpful. <sighs> there. All done. Great. This isn't a habit you should keep to. Having visits with me. And, well, this time... This time was no joke. Eat as many metal shellings as you see fit, but take just one more silver round near your heart, and the only place I'll be visiting you is the morgue. Miss White. He'll be fine for light duty, if he can figure out what that means. He knows what it means. It's just been an unusual couple of days. I know, but please, don't give him the excuse. His body will eventually give out. Take care of him, please. I will. He'll need rest, I assume? Sleep mostly. Just keep watch, and make sure he doesn't get into further altercations. Snow has enough to deal with, Swineheart. I can take care of myself. Clearly. Anyways, guard against, as they say. Miss White? Sheriff? Colin? Swiney? So, 
How do you, um, feel? It's Big B Snow. He'll be okay. Hell, I seen him take worse. Not much worse. Not as good as can be expected, I think. So, not well then. I'm glad you're not dead. You, uh, you stopped breathing, you know, when you passed out or, or died, I guess. It, um, it kind of scared the hell out of me. I've never seen you like that. And when Swineheart arrived, you know him, he's never worried. And even he thought you were... I don't know. It was just... awful. Snow, I'd never leave you. Yeah, you were really fucked up, man. <laughs> you look like when you take an action figure and bend his limbs the wrong way. Colin... I'm just saying... Thanks for ruining the mood. All. Guy hasn't had a night's rest in days. Well, I'll get some rest when this whole thing is done. What whole thing? What's even happening out there? I mean, do you guys have like a plan or something? And who should I be asking? Should I be worried about the crooked man taking over? Or is Crane still the thing? The crooked man, Bloody Mary, the Tweedles. This is bigger than what I thought it was. Yeah. The crooked man came out of the shadows for a reason. For him to attack us so blatantly like that. He either feels invincible or desperate. Well, if those are my two options, I don't think I'd pick desperate. What do you mean? You traded Crane to save Bigby. I'm just saying, that's not exactly something you do when you're playing with house money. So he called my bluff. It's not like I'm gonna let Bloody Mary just murder him. It was a split-second decision, and I don't care how it looked. I'd make it again, and twice on Sunday. Yeah, uh, thanks, Snow, for all that back there. No problem. Thanks? You're not pissed that Crane's flown the coop? Or that the crooked man thinks he's got snow under his thumb? We're all mad about it, Colin, but it's not like we had a strong choice in the matter. What else could Snow do? If she didn't hand him over, my ass would be down the witching well. Crane still would have been taken. Okay, okay, I'll take your word for it. All I care about right now is... Just what does the crooked man want out of this? I thought he was just a loan shark. But clearly, he's operating in other circles. It can't just be about Crane, right? Getting him out of town? Is this all about the murders? Crane can't be useful to him anymore. So what could this have to do with Faith and Lily? How long has this stuff been going on? From the looks of things, it's been going on for quite a while. The Crooked Man declared war against us last night. At least that's what I thought when it happened. But now I see this war has been going on for years. We just haven't noticed it because our way of doing things is broken. We need to do things the right way. What does that mean, the right way? What do you think I mean? I don't know, but it suspiciously sounds like your way. Bigby's the one on the front lines. You can't give him a leash. He doesn't work that way. A little restraint and thought behind things will never hurt anyone, Colin. So... Starting now, we do everything cut and dried, by the book, straight as an arrow. Pure as driven snow. I'm not saying I'm the arbiter of- Sure you're not. This town has enough monsters. What happened last night, what you turned into, it can't happen again. We need monsters to fight monsters. Colin, if I really believed that we needed him to lose his flippin' mind at a moment's notice... We were under attack, Snow. What did you expect me to do? There are degrees. Degrees? I only ever do what's necessary. Really? Do you believe him? Yeah, I do. Look, Bigby, I care about how this is done just as much as I care about it getting done. So for that, you want to give him a handicap? Like the bad guys will worry if shit gets sloppy. 
Everybody wants Bigby to smile and shave and take a shower now and then. Hell, I'm practically the president of the Bigby Don't Be Such a Dick Club. But this is the wrong fucking time to put shackles on him. He'll get the job done. Just let him do it. I'm going to... I'm going to let you do it, okay? It's just that... Now that I'm deputy mayor, I need your respect. And this situation has to end. What situation? All unglamored fables starting today have to go and stay at the farm. Oh, give me a fucking break. Are you gonna let her talk to me like that? It's been the rule for a reason, Colin. And Bigby knows it's for the best of the town. It keeps everybody out of trouble. Look, everyone just calm down, all right? I'm perfectly calm. I'm not. Tell me right now. What's it gonna be, Bigby? Wolf's residence. That's rude. Oh, Buffkin, what is it? Okay, I'll let him know. Thanks. Guess who's waiting in your office right now? Nerissa. Nerissa? That broad from the pudding and pie? Yes. Apparently, she told Buffkin that she has something she needs to talk to you about. But that she'll only tell you. What do you think that could be? Uh, Bigby's got an admirer. You always do well with the, uh, disenfranchised. I haven't the slightest. Okay. I should get back to the business office. I've left Buffkin alone for too long taking calls. And I should probably change out of these clothes. Consider the discussion tabled, but not over. Let me know when you're done with Nerissa. Aye, aye, Captain. She's a piece of work. Hey, you're not really gonna send me to the farm, are you? I mean, she seemed real serious about it, but I can still hang out here, right? Look, uh, maybe a few will get sent up, but you're my friend, Colin. I wouldn't do that to you. Don't worry about it. Thanks, Bigby. I don't know what to feel about snow. She's getting too strict. I don't know. Well, that's the beginning of the, of the episode. So what does she have to tell me? She knows something. She knows a lot. I just don't know what. We're either gonna find out, or we're not. That more or less sums up pretty much anything, really. <laughs> there isn't really a middle ground. <laughs>